Well, hello everybody. Uh, welcome to my channel about wood burning. Today we're just going to go over a couple different types of wood. Um, so before you begin your projects, you want to know what kind of wood you're dealing with. Um, I've tried different types of wood over the years and I find that these dark, harder woods that are processed and have chemicals in them uh, are not the best for your projects because they burn very slowly and you tend to not be able to see the design as well. I added a lot of stain to this one so you can see it now, uh, but I don't care for the way that it turned out and again it was a bit harder to work with. Um, so you keep in mind when you're picking out a type of wood that it's very easy to make the wood uh, lighter with a stain or a darker with a stain um, but it's more difficult to go lighter you uh, would need to use paint um, which would cover up the design that you were wood burning uh, it can have a cool effect but it's going to uh, take more time and more more effort uh, kind of wood that I usually use is a nice pine wood um, I like it because it's very light and it has a high contrast. So when you do go to burn it, um, this is what it's going to look like in the end. You uh, can burn it with lower temperatures on your wood burners. If you have an adjustable wood burner like I do, uh, you can use it at the uh, almost the highest temperature with this pine wood and it will burn pretty smoothly. If you're newer to wood burning, you can keep that temperature a little bit lower and uh, it'll burn a little bit more slowly so you have more time to see what you're doing. Uh, if you're like me and you know what you're doing, just crank the heat up as high as it goes and then you can move pretty quickly and uh, crank out some projects. Uh, so I like the pine wood as well. Another thing you want to keep in mind is these uh, streaks and knots in the wood. Um, here's an example of one that I made where I kept the knots in the wood because I liked the way that it looked. Um, but in typically you'll want to pick a nice piece of wood that doesn't have a lot of knots in it. If you go up to your local hardware store, uh, you can get a piece that is several, uh, several feet long and nice and wide for about eight bucks and it's nice and cheap. This one here doesn't have any cracks in it, not a lot of knot holes. Um, I'm building something on it right now. That's why you see the beer bottles. I'm turning this into a, a six pack bottle opener and holder. Uh, but just keep that in mind when you go to the store. Find the pine wood uh, that's got these nice uh, light streaks in it that give your project a nice look but don't uh, have all these knots in it so that it uh, overwhelms your look and gets in the way of the project that you're making. Okay, thanks for watching and uh, come back, subscribe to my channel, check out my Instagram, Custom Wood Burning by Shannon. Uh, and check out my Facebook page. Make sure you subscribe and we're going to do more wood burning tips and tricks in the future. So stay tuned.